Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're tired of sacrificing your designs, your artwork, and your letters by applying negative cut contour lines to achieve a fake bleed, well then stick around because in this video I'll show you how to make real bleeds in Flexi Designer for your artwork and your letters. So let's get rolling and start designing. The first thing that we'll be looking at is text. If we take a look at the Top America in blue, you'll see that it's a nice thick font. So if you were to do a fake bleed on this here and do a small negative number, you're not going to really affect the look of the letters. And plus you still have a lot of material left. But when you go down to the America in the red, this is a very thin font, so you really don't have much area to sacrifice. If you put a negative contour cut on here, your letters are going to end up even thinner. So what I'm going to do is show you how to apply a real bleed to these letters, so that way you don't have to sacrifice the already thin lines that you're working with. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is select our text. Go up to Effects and to Outline. Up here on the right corner under Design Central, I have an outline of 0.1 inches. And then what I'm going to do is select the color for the outline. And it's just going to match the red that I have in the text. Click the check mark. Make sure you have your letters, your words selected. Go back up to effects, and now you want to separate outline. So now click off and then click back in to select your letters. All right. Then go back up to effects, to contour cut, and then select your contour, the contour color, cut color, click the check mark. Okay. Okay, so now what I would advise you to do is to check to make sure that your outline did not end up with a cut line. So go up here, click on your text, and go up to Arrange. And right here, to, in under Cut Order, hit Preview. Come up here to the right, and you can speed this process up. Or you can just hit the Fast Forward, and then bam, it'll just do it really quick. And so now you can see that just the letters, the original letters, have a cut on them. So just go back to your selection tool. Okay, so now this is going to overprint with the red and then cut out your letters and you're not sacrificing any of them with a negative contour cut line. If you have a design like this one here, uh, this is a design I brought over from Kittle. And so the process is pretty much going to be the same for a design that you or a sticker that you've designed. You want to make sure that the design that you have has a solid border of just one color because if this was split into two different colors, red and blue, green, you know, different colored borders, then it's this is not going to work for that. So design something with a nice solid border, one color, and then this will work perfect. We're going to do the same thing for this here. I'm going to click on it, go up to effects, add an outline to it. I'm going to choose transparent because since I brought this over from a different program, the colors down here in your color bar might not match it exactly. So when you're making your outline, 
select transparent and then click the check mark and then so now go back up to effects and separate the outline move this to the side your outline is still there just do a little square right there and it will select it next thing you want to do is go over to the dropper on the left and click on it I'm going to come back here to the blue on my smiley face and then click the blue and so now these two colors are going to match go back to your selection tool select both of them and then center them back with each other the shortcut for it is control 5 now go back click on your design go up to effects contour cut have it at zero and click the check mark so I'm gonna do the same thing with this one here I'm gonna make sure that my outline did not get a cut line the other day when I was designing um, for some reason when I was throwing it into VersaWorks it was putting cut line on the outline also so go back up to arrange do cut order preview okay so that one's good it's just gonna cut it out the inside now I can go back to here so now I'm gonna save it and send it into VersaWorks and then once you're in VersaWorks we're gonna double check that the outlines did not get cut lines Okay, now I've brought in my design into VersaWorks. And so we're going to check to make sure that the outline does not have an, a cut line applied to it. Go over to Cut Controls. I like to move it into the center a little bit. And then just hit the Cut Only. Okay, so now we can see that we don't have a cut line on our outlines so that's good okay everyone that's going to be it for this video i hope that you guys found it helpful if you did like and subscribe if you guys are having any other problems with the uh, flexi designer or versa works let me know down in the comments and that way i can put it on my list of videos to make so i can help you guys out thank you for watching i appreciate it and i'll see you guys in the next one